Oh my god. Hey. Boys, I didn't think we would make it past season one. I'm being real with y'all, man. I was kind of skeptical about us even getting by season one, but look at us, man. Who would have thought? Not me. We're finally here. It's time for the Road to Scrub Qualifying Series, ladies and gentlemen. You guys have been waiting a long time for this. This might be the most dramatic eight race season you have ever seen in your lives. We have 37 prospects all fighting for the chance to get into Scrubs Season 2. 37 prospects and the top 19 at the end of this season make it in. It is going to be a fierce battle to the very end. So let's take a look at the schedule that we have going on for the road to Scrubs, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are having a very good Saturday so far. We are starting off the Road to Scrub Qualifying Series here in Coca-Cola Super Speedway. 34 laps. And then after this, we got a little doubleheader. We're heading to the Bone Crusher Figure 8. Y'all remember that. It was absolutely bonkers the last time we did it, and it's going to be even crazier this time around. 30 laps. And then next weekend, we head to Charlotte and Bank Watkins Glen. After that, we head to Pensacola and Chicagoland. And then we finish it off with a doubleheader at the Taylor Swift Superdome. And the deciding race at the end of the season is going to be at 80s Talladega. It is going to be absolutely insane. Everybody has a fair shot to make it into the Scrub Series. Every single driver and every single car in this field have equal attributes. They are all equally as stupid, as fast, and as chaotic as they could possibly be. So let's see how this season will turn out ladies and gentlemen but hey we got some newcomers out here man we got a brand new team to take a look at really quick and let's start off by taking a look at one of their first one of their new drivers man let me turn down this volume god damn and or what are you doing oh my god can i just like you know what i'm saying Fucking A. So let's take a look at the number 73 really quick, man. We have Mr. John Felber coming in to the road to Scrubs. And he is driving for Richard Nurgenton Racing, a brand new team stepping into the Scrub Series. The only new team to step into the Scrub Series. So it'll be interesting to see how that team goes. But we also have some other drivers for Richard Nurgenton Racing. So let's go ahead and take a look because he signed three drivers, man. Richard Nurgenton got on his shit and immediately started hiring drivers. He also has the number 44 of ShamWow driving in the Toyota Supra. Dude, is that a Supra? That's absolutely a Supra. And we also have one more driver for Richard Nurgenton Racing. And that's number 83, that's Mr. Hudson Catskill. Hudson Catskill has moved from the 82 to the 83, driving in a Toyota, moved from Jeepers Creepers Automobiles over to Richard Nurgenton Racing. And it's going to be interesting to see how Richard Nurgenton Racing fares in the Road to Scrub series. Let me get this music off really quick and hop on our uh, our synthwave vibes really quick. Hopefully this don't blow my eardrums out. Almost did, but we stopped it. Hey, appreciate you guys coming through. Appreciate you guys supporting the scrubs. This is going to be a damn good July. July is for the scrubs, ladies and gentlemen. They're Richard Nurgenton funding all of this shit out of his pocket with those scam sponsors. Every single sponsor for Richard Nurgenton Racing is a scam. So we love that. Now before we head into this race and we look at the rest of this grid, let's take a look at some of the war chatter that's been going on. Hold on, do I not have a... Do I not have a thing for that? I do. Let's take a look at the war chatter. We're gonna call this shit motherfucking Scrubs Radioactive, boys. So let's take a look at the little bit of a war shatter that's been going on right now, man. So you got Goki calling herself washed. Miss, Miss Roxas Everlin calling herself washed. 
There's a lot of shit going on in the Road to Scrubs, man. Not only do we have people trying to qualify to make it into Season 2, but Roxas Everlin has stated that if she does not make it to Season 2, she might just retire. So fuck it. <laughs> we got uh, literally careers on the line, man. It's getting, it's getting crazy out here. You see uh, Roxas Everlin's owner telling her to get her shit together. They didn't even put anything on the car, man. It's just a, a plain-ass test scheme. You guys will be able to see that in a little while. I'm trying to not qualify. I mean, I could just tank your stats if it's really like that. These things happen. You have the goofy fiasco bird, Mr. Nukeman, saying it is Mika Suzuki and Priya McShane season. Both those guys looking for their first wins in the fiasco cinematic universe. And this might be one of my favorite things to ever come out of this, uh, to ever come out of this, man. If you guys haven't seen this in a Discord, this shit is fucking hilarious. This is the highlight of the Scrub series by far, man. That is easily the greatest thing that has ever come out of this series. So, uh, shout out to our boy Sanok, man. That's easily the funniest thing that I have seen, like, all, all week, bro. It is immaculate. We love that. So, I see that we actually have some more chatter going on in the war chatter. Of course, when I pull up the Discord, all y'all are going to want to start talking your shit. Shout out to Brian not knowing what time the race was. So, we started talking shit to him a little bit. But uh, these things happen, so let's go ahead and see what other chatter is going on. Hello! Everybody's saying hello. Trop's saying he fucking sucks. David Davison, he actually has a couple wins. Actually, he has a win. He won the first ever L League race to, made, to for the right to qualify to compete for the rest in Season 1. So you know what? David Davison might have a little bit of an edge going into the uh, road to scrubs. Is a finally my words on Twitch. Shout out to Flynn. Shout out to our boy Balake. If anyone in my way in the last lap, I wouldn't be shocked if my fucking murder someone. Honestly, this is gonna happen throughout the entire race. So shout out to you guys. If fucking hard. You, you know what I should do, man. You know what? I'm gonna let it slide this time, but personally, I usually don't let these things slide, man. So you know what? You best to watch yourself. It's going to be a long, grueling day. No cap. No cap. Nuke man says he just watched. So appreciate you guys chiming in into the war chatter. We will check on this periodically throughout the night. And we're gonna go ahead and get this going, man. We've been waiting long enough. It's time to get the road to scrubs underway. Cuts and Catskill. Cody Goforth. Uh, Cody Goforth, by the way. He will not be active in the Discord much, but homeboy gets a pass because our homie Cody Goforth is going into the army. So can we get some salutes in the chat for our future U.S. Army soldier, Cody Goforth, Mr. Savage Toy Show. Shout out to Cody, man. Good on you, bro. Good on you. We got another soldier in the community. Big salutes to our boy. All right. So let's go ahead and move on over to qualifying and see... Who is going to come out on top? Who is going to get pole position 
here in the first race of Road to Scrubs. Oh, there he is, man! And what I say, bro? David Davidson, the man who won the first ever L League race in these modifieds, is on pole for this race at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Look, bro, look at Dumpster Fire Mo, man. So inspirational. You can't make this stuff up. So let's go ahead and put that in. Let's log that for the good. David Davidson on pole for Coca-Cola Super Speedway. David's son, oh my god. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the qualifying order. And while we do that, let's take a good look at all the cars we got, man. We got all sorts of cars out here, man. There are a lot of beautiful schemes out here, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate all of you guys for your creativity. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the bottom really quick. Just so you guys can like get a look before we uh, go through the rest of the uh, the rest of the grid right here. And hey, look at this man. I never even qualified in Drive Through Sim Series. You mean like you never qualified for like the main show, or never you never really uh, did that well in it? This is fucking nuts, man. This is fucking good. Hey, man, if you know anybody over in that Discord that would love to be able to get into the Scrub series, let them know, bro. Spread that propaganda around. We still we have four spots. Oh, actually, we yeah, we have four spots open. Four more spots. If you know four friends that would love to be a part of this, let them in, man. The more the merrier. And if they're and they don't make it into the road to Scrubs, they can still compete in the L League. We're gonna keep points for that too. So let them know, man. Let them know. I already saw that, Harley. Oh, we're gonna look at all of the schemes. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at all the schemes that we have going on here. We got Mr. David Davidson in the number 26. Shout out to him. He's a part of Dumpster Fire Mo. Shout out to Mr. David Davidson. He's on pole. It's like, why is... Why is Twerkley's tires going... We ain't even dropped the flag yet. We already started this shit. What is going on? Harley, do you do you have something to say? What did you do to this tire? Is this legal? Are these legal tires? Something's wrong with you, man. Shout out to Ethan Swirkley and the number six. A very beautiful number six car designed by Eclipse Racing Designs. And we also have Emily. Uh, no, Roxas Everlin. My fault, man. Roxas Everlin. I'm about to start calling y'all Emily anyways, fuck it. Roxas Everlin in the number 11 test scheme. No sponsors whatsoever. No money going into that team after losing one of their drivers to relegation. These things happen, so if anybody wants to give P1 Esports some money and help them in these trying times, please do, man. Please do. Yes, I have number 79, Gordon Sokolowski for Flying Motorsport. We got Cody Goforth, our future U.S. Army soldier, in the number 45. And we have Chris Roberts in the 01. Cole Frelick in the 15. Tango Wolf in the 09. He has moved from his own team to Flying Motorsport. Number 46, we have Mr. Aaron Curtis. And we also have number 83, Hudson Catskill, for Richard Nurgenton Racing. Number 56, we have Ryan Kendall. For Eclipse Racing Design and Eclipse Motorsports. And look at this man. Look at my ride. Yes, sir. Number two. Fuck Tom Brady. Let's go, baby. Stupid fucking strawberry car, baby. I am rocking the number two, baby. And I am racing for strawberry slow mo, baby. What you know about that, bro? Number two. We got Brian Lee Nelson in the 88. We have Julio Caesar. Yeah, Julio Caesar in the double zero for Drive Through Racing Ventures. The number 44, we have Shamwow in the Supra. And the number 89, we have Jack Hayes driving for Doggo Racing Ventures. Number five, we have Caleb Hoffman. Number 61, Taz Taylor for Strawberry Shlomo Racing. Number eight, we have The Nordy for Dumpster Fire Mo. Number 24, Becca Pierce for Eclipse Motorsports. Number 80, Kyle Driscoll for MF Schickbox Motorsports, driving the test car. 
Number six, Edward Sound Edward, and easily the most gorgeous car on the grid. It's not even close, man. This thing's an absolute beauty. He even he loves this thing, man. It's immaculate. Number 14, we have Caleb Straup. Number 23, Ryan Tovar. And take a look at this thing, man. Take a look at the back of this thing. Staying true to the fandom. Is his career over? We will find out after eight races because I'm sure he will be in absolute agony and shock if he doesn't qualify for the scrubs. And we have his teammate right behind him, Mr. Michael Deitch in the 20. 57, Adrian Rojas. 98, Priam McShane. Moving on over to, I think this is a Dumpster Fire Mo car. Correct me if I'm wrong. I forgot what team uh, Dumpster Fire Mo went to. Hey, yo, we got a raid. Doggo with the raid of three. Appreciate you, man. We're starting the scrubs. These cars are about to roll off. Number double in the 07, we have Devin Hard, Dick. We have his teammate, Mateo Canyonero, and number 17, Balake Wall. Number 28, Ronald McDolan. Number 62, Harley Payne, and Harley Payne wants all of you to see this here because he doesn't have enough attention. He paints better than he drives, and he put the whole ass URL on the car. So shout out to Mr. Harley Payne. Number 37, Mika Suzuki. Birds are not real. Number 73, John Felber for Richard Nurkinton Racing. Rusty Walrus driving for Doggo Racing Ventures, but he's in his own scheme. Rocking the Motorsport Games and Fall Guys car. Number three, Winty Wolf. Haven't seen him in a while, man. He's got to pop out at some point so he can make the cut for scrubs. And rounding out the field, we have Mr. What If Racing, Brian Pasternak. Appreciate you guys coming through, man. That rusty car is really clean, man. I really like it. Shout out to DJF. He's done a really good job on a lot of these schemes, man. So appreciate you guys coming through. We got 20 homies here for the debut race of the road to Scrubs. We've got an empty booth today. It's just me, man. It's just me and you. So appreciate you guys coming through, man. Look at Roxas Everlin. Put in that number 11 fourth place on the grid. Definitely trying to make up for the absolute agony that she went through during season one of the Scrub series. Hoping to make that cut. Let's get a possible car in victory lane. He's painted like five cars, man. We're hoping he can be able to get in there. So pace car is off, ladies and gentlemen. And we are green flag racing here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. And let's fucking go, baby. The road to scrubs is underway. Big fan, big fan. So shout out to Mr. David Davison. He started on pole and he's holding on to the lead right now going through turns one and two. Now, just so you guys know, I did update all of the files for these numbers in the ticker, whether they actually updated or not. This is up to basically the, uh, it's up to the software to decide whether it actually wanted to update or not, but I did do it all manually. So hopefully that actually does it. Oh, look at me, man. I'm trying to make a move on the bottom. I might be able to lead the first lap. Give it a beat. Nah, bro. That's all Tango right there. Tango Wolf is going to lead this first lap here in Road to Scrubs. Now, we have a much simpler way of keeping track of stats and all of that. Uh, shout out to Sanak for suggesting how we were able to do that much easier. So, we're not going to be allowing name changes once we start green flag racing for any given season. So whether what whatever name you pick, you stick in the middle for the rest of the season, or else it's messing with the stats. These things happen, man. Tangle Wolf holding on to the lead right now, trying to hold off Brian Lee Nelson in the 88. And Tangle Wolf is going to lead the second lap of this race. Look at Kyle Driscoll, man, on the bottom of that MF. MF Chick Box Motorsports Green Machine. When I made this little car for my dad, I wasn't going to put a ton of effort into it, obviously. But he did tell me that he wanted an obnoxiously green test car. So that's what he gets. They're shuffling around. Clean racing so far, but that's not going to stay that way. As we do, as we do know with, like, almost every single scrub race in existence. 
Does that mean we won't have any more deaths? If there is a death, that'll be a different driver that takes over. Like, you can't just, like, change the name and the stats carry over. Because... Technology. There will be deaths, there will be injuries, but, like, if somebody else takes over, it'll be just, like, uh... You know, it'll be tracked under a different driver name. Yo, do we have negotiations going on in the Twitch chat? What counts as a death? Whenever you guys determine as a death. Like... What the- OH! We got wreckage! We got wreckage back there! It doesn't look like anything crazy right now! Rocks of Severlin got turned- <laughs> No! We have two DTRV cars spinning in the infield right now. That's Julio Caesar and Michael Deitch. Rocks of Severlin gets spun along with David Davidson and Chris Roberts. All those guys spun into the infield on the back straight. It doesn't look like uh, they hit the wall too hard or anything like that. Classic DTRV activity, and it looks like Kyle Driscoll is going to lead these guys to the green flag once we finish this caution. So let's take a look at how this uh, how this all started. Roxas Severlin and David Davison were up front when this race started, and then I guess they fell just all the way back. Oh, that's bro standard DTRV activity. You ain't kidding, bro. Look at Michael Deitch here. Oh, Balake! No! Balake killed his teammate, bro! Balake! You can't be doing that, bro! He just slides up on him and kills five people! Two of them are his teammates! Balake! Balake out here taking out his teammates! For what position? For like 36! He crossed the line at 36th before that! Absolutely insane! Can you believe that, boys? I can. I'm sure the rest of you guys can too. No cap. Are we gonna have beef? Shoot, we might. Oh my god. Balake, I can't believe you did that, man. Your DTR feed doesn't do teammates work, bro. These guys are popping off in Discord radioactive right now. Look at this. Got a little bit of love for Cody. The slander is true. <laughs> I'm a one man show. Oh man. Balake. Teamwork overrated as fuck. Valid. Timothy Bone does not approve. Can't blame him, man. Can't blame him. Timothy Bone ain't about that noise. I don't need teammates. I'm up in six. Bro, Balake sounding off right now. He don't he said he don't need teammates. This is crazy. You open it you open a Discord channel for these guys to talk their shit and then they just get absolutely bold with it. Yeah, DTRV, it's like it's survival of the fittest whenever it comes to that team. For real, for real. Can't trust nobody on that team. And that's facts. It looks like Priya and McShane wants to work together with Nort. They are only uh, separated by Mr. Ronald McDonald in the 28, so it'll be interesting to see how that works out. <laughs> Chop said, I don't need friends, they disappoint me. Hey, that reminds me, we should uh, hop over to a word from our sponsors. Hi, my name is Carla Shaw. You can stop at five or six stores or just one. I don't need friends. They disappoint me. Shout out, Balake. Hi, I'm Todd LaRue. You can stop at five or six stores or just one. I feel like a deer in the headlights of love. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. You could stop at five or six stores, or just one. You could stop at five or six stores, or just one. Can I ask you kind of a weird question? You could stop at five or six stores, or just one. I am the queen of the universe. The waves part. And they engulf me, and the water is warm. 
or just one? I can see the Statue of Liberty from here. You could stop at five or six doors or just one. I can't stand it when she touches me. People say that time heals all wounds. Shut up. Just shut up. Don't say a word. I heard enough from you last night to last me a lifetime. I'm about to walk out that door and explain to that man out there why I don't have a home no more. Hi, my name is Beanie DeAndrade. You could stop at five or six doors or just one. I'm not as desperate as I thought I was. Michael is trying and failing in a big way. All right, this has gone too far. What? Hey, yo, ladies and gentlemen, in the booth right now, we have the man himself that just absolutely bodied two of his teammates, Mr. Balake. Well, Balake, explain yourself. Um, I don't need them. They were in the way and they were too slow. <laughs> All right, valid. Is there anything else you want to say before we get you out of here? Oh, no. All right, have a good one. Shout out Balake, bro. I find it amazing that Balake doesn't know what a cuck is and he sounds like a grown ass man. That's just hilarious, bro. <laughs> Based God. <laughs> Noah Gregson, nah, bro. This is this is the man. The myth, the legend. Number nine ain't got shit on number 17, Balake Wall, man. Based God. You are not faster than Balake. Appreciate you guys coming through, bro. All right, all right, all right. All right, pace car lights are out. And we are about to go racing once again here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. It's a cute duck. It is a cute duck, yeah. I keep forgetting that, man. Skelly, welcome on in. Doggo, thank you for the raid earlier. Flynn, Sanak, Trop, Fulan B. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate all you guys coming through. We're gonna have a good time tonight. We're gonna have a good time all month long for the road to scrubs. It's gonna be a good ass season with a lot of drama. And with the new way that we can do our standings, we're gonna have the standings ready at the end of the at the end of the night. You don't even gotta wait that long. And shout out to Sanok for the sound by real quick. Hell yeah! Shout out Travis, man. Half of the inspiration for this. This shit was really the baby of Moon Car and the Drive Through Sim series. We are Green Flag Racing once again. Cal Driscoll has led them to the line, and he is being followed very closely by Mr. Devin Hard Dick in the number 07. If Mooncar had no good drivers, nah, bro. What do you mean? You got Mika Suzuki here. Mika Suzuki is basically the Michael Cozy Jr. Hey, yo, what is good? Drive through. How we doing, man? How the fuck we doing, dog? How's Road America? How the scrimps? How we doing right now, man? Road America fan. Big fan from Road America. Hey, they, they separate a little bit. Hold on. Nah, they good, they good, they driving good. Oh, we got Priya McShane, no way, bro. No way. Chiaki Nanami gets kicked out of the ride, and Priya McShane steps into the number 98, shooting down for the lead on Kyle Driscoll, and she is going to clear him coming out of turn two. Love that for the number 98. It's fucking great. I'm gonna try to go to a race this year, man. Hopefully I'll be able to save up the money to be able to go. Look at Priya McShane, man. So inspirational. Look at this, man. The Monster Energy car absolutely fucking flying down the front straight here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Harley Payne trying to make up for the terrible season he had in Season 1 here in Road to Scrubs. Trying to make it back into the big leagues. 
And he's doing well right now. He's P3 running up that middle groove. And he's got his teammate and driver Becca Pierce right behind him. Becca Pierce trying to make a little bit of redemption happen as well. But we also have Rusty Walrus in the number 59. I hope Rusty's watching right now, man. Look at this beautiful ride. Motorsport games with Fall Guys on the deck lid. It's a beautiful scheme. I absolutely love the Fall Guys on the deck lid, man. That's gorgeous. And shout out to Adrian Rojas in the 57. Taking the lead here, coming down the front straight, being pushed by his Dumpster Fire Mo teammate, Caleb. Dumpster Fire Mo. Pushing all the way to the front, trying to redeem their teammate, David Davidson, who got absolutely obliterated earlier in this race. I ain't seen the Fall Guy. I'll get a little close up on the Fall Guy. Never mind, they're wrecking back there. Hey, yo, what's going on right now? We got Taz Taylor, Ronald McDolan, John Felber, and Balake Wall. He has gotten payback for taking out two of his teammates. I'm going to laugh my ass off if one of his teammates took him out, man. Balake just received some instant karma, and Adrian Rojas is going to cross the line in the lead. Right ahead of Devin Hardick, who is able to get between the two Duster Fire Mo drivers. Look at Brian Pasternak! Started dead last, and he's already P4 at the end of lap 12. If y'all need some inspiration, man, look no further than Mr. What If Racing, Brian Pasternak. That's absolutely crazy. So let's take a look at what happened. Well, I'm, I'm spotlighting Balake here, man. I need to... If Direct started with him, I'm done. He's on the bottom again. Did he do it again? He hit it. He did it again, bro. He slid up the track. <laughs> bro. But Lucky's in the, on the bottom. I don't know if there's a bump there or what, but... Yeah, he just goes up, bro. <laughs> Look at this dude, man. There's no death going on right now, but Balake keeps wrecking people coming out of turn two. It's just diabolical behavior from the number 17, man. We call that strike two, no cap. It's like he goes up and hits them, and then he regains control of the car, and then just goes back down and tries to avoid it. But this time, he wasn't able to get out of the way. So that collected Taz Taylor, Ronald McDolan, and John Felber in the 73. Brand new driver for a brand new team getting caught up in that. Hate to see it. We're going to have to drag Balake back in here, man. All right, Balake, this is the second time you've done this shit. You got to really, you got to have a good reason for this this time. Is this strike two? <laughs> this is absolutely strike two. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll, I'll just come up with some random BS to say. and Hopefully that'll save my butt. We're waiting. Um, okay. Uh, I... <laughs> I saw a bird on the track. You saw what? And I saw a bird on the track. You saw a bird? It's Birds scared. aren't real! <laughs> well, Nuke... <laughs> Nuke, Nuke needs to learn that they are, because it scared me and therefore I wrecked everyone. Oh, so you wrecked people and now you're trying to say birds are real. <laughs> You got two yes. strikes, wrecking people, birds are real, bro. The whole league gonna jump you, I hope you know this. <laughs> yeah, that's, well, that's technically I'll join John. Me. I'll join John's alliance. Oh my god, alright. Have yourself a good one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is going on, man? <laughs> oh man, Balake. We love this man. I can't believe he's already just... He's making a name for himself in the worst way possible, and we're not even halfway through the first race of the season. It's crazy. Can't believe this shit. Jack Hayes, welcome on in, man. Birds are not real. Everybody knows birds aren't real. It's crazy, man. Balaki just said, I love John. John is great. Yeah, he's, he's fully committed to the dark side. Y'all let him on the council, but y'all didn't give him the rank of master. And now he's saying all this. Yes, 36 versus 1. Every single driver is against the number 17 of Balake Wall. Everybody's going to try to make sure Balake does not make it into the Scrub Series. 
What's up, MDF? How we doing, man? Hope you guys are enjoying this stream so far. I feel like it's been a good time. I feel like it's been a good meme so far. By the way, if you guys are in the Scrub Series War Room, you are basically telling me that I can pull you in here whenever I want. Just saying. So if you guys don't want to be on the broadcast, at least either deafen yourself so I know you don't want to be pulled, or like don't be in the VC, so just so y'all know. What is happening, man? Y'all are y'all are wilding right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What is what's happening with Black A? Jesus Christ! He's, he's not wrong. I honestly had no idea that that was a frame of fucking Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. I actually had a fire bar about Wrecking Ball and Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus when I was like a sophomore in high school. That shit was fire. Everybody loved it. I forgot exactly what it was, but it was great. I should have been a freestyler, bro. He really is Anakin Skywalker. Y'all turned him into Darth Vader. Darth Balake. Can't believe it, man. You, uh, everybody, strike four. Oh my god. Oh, it looks like. It looks like Win Nergenton. Oh, team owner Richard Nergenton has something to say. We're gonna be waiting on that. Yeah, Darth Balaka. Yeah, bro, a Darth. A, like a primary red and a secondary. No, a primary black and a secondary red scheme in the DTRV style would be hot as fuck. That would be so good. So, apparently, even with the damage off, Julio Caesar in the double zero, for whatever reason, had to spend so much time in pit road that now he is a lap down here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. So, once again, just standard DTRV activities. I wouldn't be surprised if this is some sort of a... Uh, some sort of plot to try to get Devin Harddick in the lead. So, uh, shout out to Julio Caesar, man. No idea what this man is thinking, but I'm sure it's something diabolical. Yeah, you guys don't have to join VC if you don't want to, of course. This is just purely, purely for people who want to be heard on the broadcast. Like, whenever something happens that includes your driver, um, I'll bring you in. And if you ever say something incredibly cringe, or something TOS, you just lose your privilege to be in here. As simple as that, man. It's like, I only put- <coughs> Jesus Christ! <coughs> I think I'm good. I do need water, though. Bless you. No, you. I might be dead. Alright, green flag's in the air. Dumpster fire and Moe trying to hang on to this lead right here. The number 14 of Caleb Straub needs to try to figure out a way to get around the number 07 of Devin Hardick. We have Mateo Canyonero and Kyle Driscoll diving into the bottom line, going into turn one here. And Brian Pasternak is going to try to become the number one DTR V car in this series. He's being pushed by the number two, the stupid fucking strawberry car. He's looking down low, but Caleb Strout blocks him on that low lane, trying to protect his teammate, but the number 39 goes even lower, taking three wide. Oh, I thought it was going to be three wide, but it looks like the number 14 might tuck behind the double zero, and he does. And the number 39 is still getting a push from the number two. Adrian Rojas in the 57. He's a sitting duck right now. He's way too far ahead of Brian Pasternak, but it looks like Pasternak is going to hold off a little bit. He's going to wait for his opportunity. But he can't get, get hard on the high side. Because if he does, that's going to spell disaster for him. And he's going to go all the way to the back of the grid. But look at Mr. Edward Sound. Edward in the 06 on the bottom of the number two. Shamwow going down low on the number 06. Going three wide right now on the back straight. In that Toyota Supra, but then he goes up a little bit, leaving the door open for Kyle Driscoll in the 80 from MF Schickbox Motorsports. 
He slides up a little bit. Will that leave the door open for Mateo Canyonero in the 76? But that's like my favorite car, bro. That bright pink with the black is such a good contrast. That car is a nut. Adrian Rojas trying to defend from the number 39 of Brian Pasternak. The number 2. My car in the number 2 trying to make some moves, but I get blocked by the number 39. We all fall in line right there. And this might be the most tame that they've driven all night so far. Mateo Canonero trying to make something happen for himself, diving down low in the number 76. Looks like he might be getting a push from Brian Lee Nelson in the 88. And everybody goes low, following Brian Pasternak on the number 2. Here I come, bro. I'm trying to get onto the bottom of him, but it's not working. I'm kind of tucking behind him. And Mateo Canonero looks like he's getting a big push, but he shifts up as Cal Driscoll goes low. And they switch places a little bit there on the front straight. Kyle Driscoll has no help right now, but he's still maintaining speed on the inside of that number two, and he manages to get slipstream from the number 39. This is some beautiful pack racing right here. It's just a long game of chess. Look at Rusty Walrus on the back of the number 88 of Brian Lee Nelson getting a push from the Nordy and the number eight. They got a nice big run, but it looks like Kyle Driscoll is going to drop in front of them in turn three, and he's going to take the lead away from Brian Pasternak. Look at this man. Rusty slots right behind the number 80 of Kyle Driscoll and here comes the Nordy. David Davidson went from first to last all the way back to the front of the pack in the name of Dumpster Fire Mo. He's trying to get his second career win in his second career late model start but on his inside you have his teammate Priya McShane in the number 98. And look at Ryan Tovar. He's been quiet all race long, but he's making a move now with Tangle Wolf right behind him. Ryan Tovar has struggled all season long last year. He actually had a pretty decent start, but then he immediately fell off a cliff. He is trying to make up for the terrible races that he had last year and see if he can really write a redemption story for himself. This might be the start of his villain arc, man. DTRV has got a lot of villains on it, man. You got uh, Ryan Tovar and you got Balake Wall. Oh, look at Rusty Walrus, baby. He is in Road America in real life, but his racing heart is here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway, and he takes the lead from the number 80. Shout out Rusty, man. Look at Rusty, man. So inspirational. Oh, they're wrecking back there. It looks like Mateo Canonero. Mateo Canonero and the number 28 is in another accident. Brian Lee Nelson gets caught up in it. Caleb Stroud looks like he was able to get by. It looks like a three-car wreck here. And it looks like Rusty Walrus is going to lead them to the line. With Ryan Tova right behind him and Priya McShane. All of these drivers that were so underachieving last season. This is their chance to shine, bro. This is their chance to prove that they know how to get wins. I don't know if there's anybody that's been demoted from the Scrub Series that has a win. We'll go ahead and check that out in a moment. But first, I need to see how this wreck started. The first driver I saw go around was Mateo Canyonero. Beautiful looking car. Let's see if it was somebody on the bottom. It might have been John Felber. Oh, no, it's Brian. On that little transition in the banking. Brian Lee Nelson in the 88 to the 76's highest. Actually, no. That's a hard judgment call, man. That's a hard judgment call. That's, you know, that's kind of like a tight space to like fit two cars in because they are going four wide coming out of the corner. Yeah, because from Brian's perspective, it looks like Mateo comes up and there might not have been any... Uh... Hey, yo, we back? We back? It looks like we're back. 
Are we back? Yeah, I don't know what that was. That's the first time I've ever gotten a Windows notification saying that OBS has disconnected. I feel like that was like an OBS issue. That's so weird. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Priya. That shit happens. All right. So uh, Brian Lee Nelson was one of the drivers that got caught up in that accident. Let's drag him on over here. Brian. Brian, you got wrecked. Tell us what happened. Uh, well, the stream's dead, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> the, the stream's back. The stream's dead. Oh my the stream, yeah, Damn it! It is still very much dead. Oh my god. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna start sharing my screen here. Hold on. Okay, there we go. I see it now. I see it. I'll share my screen so you can see it more real time and there's no delay. Yeah. Alright. You see this? Oh. Okay, hold on. It's... There you go. It was echoing. I, s I can see the stream now. The stream's not dead. Alright, cool. So here's the incident. Oh, okay. So it's the Brian on Brian violence over here. Um. Uh, so yeah, uh, fuck them kids. That's <laughs> just what happened. <laughs> <laughs> fuck them kids. Alright. Brian Lee Nelson, everybody. We'll be seeing you. Have a good rest of your race. Thank you. <laughs> Real shit. Real woke Brian Lee Nelson, quote unquote, says, "Fuck them kids." Love that shit. <laughs> Can we launch that team into the sun? Damn, we might. Hey, Balicky was still in it. What? No shot, bro. Did I miss that? Oh, he made he made a little bit of contact. He's all right though. He's all right. He's all right. <laughs> I'm giving up on your driver, Cryptic. It's only the first race, my boy. You got plenty of time to make some uh, make some points back. But uh, look at Rusty Walrus's car, man. Look at that Fall Guys on the deck lid, bro. You know what I want, bro? I want to see a Fall Guys scheme. Just a straight up Fall Guys scheme. That should be amazing. If there's any shrimps watching right now, if you know, you know. Um, his boy, uh, our boy Harley Payne, he hooked him up, bro. Gave him a fire-ass scheme. He actually made this Rusty Walrus logo from scratch, bro. It looks super nice. Super clean. 1080p. It's some beautiful stuff, bro. Absolutely gorgeous. See a Fall Guys alternate future? Bro, like, something with the Fall Guys scheme and the Fall Guys color wave? That should be hot, bro. For real, for real. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the, uh, with the stream there earlier. It's kind of weird. I made sure to pause the race, like, entirely pause the race. Like, I paused the universe just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah, he made that logo from scratch, bro. This isn't something that Rusty gave him. He made it himself. It's crazy out here, man. So I figured we could, uh, bring our future U.S. Army soldier, Mr. Cody, go forth in here. What do you guys think, man? Had a red flag because the network lost power? Yeah, exactly. I don't know what that was. Let's do it, man. Cody! Hey, yo! Yo, what's going on, man? None much, man, none much. Uh, the stream wanted to talk to you because we heard that you're going into the U.S. Army soon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am. I lead the uh, 17th. Oh, the 17th? Fuck yeah, bro. Do you know where you're going? Uh, I'm going to Fort Sill, Oklahoma for my basic training. Oklahoma, very nice. I know uh, my boy uh, my boy Jade, I think he went to Missouri. You might have heard him on stream. He went to Missouri when he went to training for the Army. And uh, I don't know where my boy Mike went, but we have two homies in the Scrub universe that also went to the Army. We're proud of you, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. It means Let's a lot. Absolutely, bro. Go get it out there. It's gonna whoop your ass, but I know you're gonna come out of there a lot stronger. Hey, I'm gonna do my best. Gonna always stay strong. Never let it bring me down. Hell yeah, bro. How many push-ups could you do? Um, in a minute? Like, 50? Alright, drop it. Give you 10. Like, right now? Right now. I, I bet. Bet. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Light work. Hell yeah, bro. Love to see it. All right, we'll be seeing you. All right, see you, man. Shout out to Mr. Cody Goforth, man. Salutes in the chat to our boy.
This man really did 10 push-ups on stream. I've done that plenty of times too. That deserves extra points. <laughs> it does, Loki. Shout out to Cody, man. Going to the army is not easy. Anything military-wise is, is gonna whoop your ass, especially in basic. Alright, pace car lights are out, ladies and gentlemen. When we go green, we are going to have eight laps to go. Rusty Walrus is your leader. Right behind him is Ryan Tovar. Followed by Priya McShane, Kyle Driscoll, Edward Sound Edward, David Davison, Hudson Caskill, Tangle Wolf, Roxas Everland, and Becca Pierce. A lot of underdogs here from Season 1, and a lot of drivers trying to make a name for themselves to move on to Season 2 for the Road to Scrubs. Green flag is out in the air, ladies and gentlemen. And we are racing once more here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. You're gonna die when I get 50k points? Oh my god. Don't be doing that to me. Oh, my parents are ordering Japanese food? Hey, I'm getting, uh, my parents are ordering Japanese food, man. What should I order? I'm not familiar with, uh, I might just get chicken and rice, low-key. G double O, what's going on, man? How we doing? Becca is Losa's sister? No, but Becca is not my sister. My sister is, uh, Leotis Peleth. Chicken and rice. Let me get some chicken and rice. Yeah, I don't know what to order there, and I'm not trying to order on stream right now, so I just told my, my dad, like, hey, can y'all just order me chicken and rice? Chicken and rice. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, she doesn't want you back. She doesn't want you back. Chicken and rice. Just eat your chicken and rice. Seven laps to go. Ryan Tovar is in the lead, followed by Kyle Driscoll. And the number 26 of David Davison started on pole, got sent to the back, got wrecked in the back. And here he is challenging for the lead once again on the inside of Ryan Tovar. The number 23 on the inside of the 26. Is he going to be able to clear him? It looks like he does. Ryan Tovar loses some steam, but he starts picking it back up a little bit. They're drag racing down the front straightaway, trying to see who will lead that next lap, and look at Becca Pierce, bro. Becca Pierce in the 24 on the bottom. Switch from the 65 to the iconic 24 with a rainbow theme. And look at that thing, straight to the front. Followed by the number 46 of Aaron Curtis. But on the inside is Mika Suzuki. Birds are not real. The number 37. Boys. It's going absolutely bonkers right now. We have a lot of underdogs that could be winning this race. I think there's going to be a fanfare no matter who wins this race as long as it's not Balake Wall. Balake's already got a couple strikes. He can't take no more. Five laps to go here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Cody Goforth, our future U.S. Army soldier, is moving up and down side to side trying to find a way to get to the lead. But he has his Doggos Racing Ventures teammate, Jack Hayes, on his inside. Are they going to be able to work together? They have almost identical cars. They're not able to link up because Ethan Twerkley is in the way. And you see ShamWow in his Toyota Supra right behind the number six. Aaron Curtis in the 46. Looking to the inside of Becca Pierce in the 24. It looks like he's going to be able to get this move done as Becca in the 24 has been left out to dry. Gordon Sokolowski on, on the back of the number 46. And look at this. Mr. Jack Hayes in the number 89. On the inside, they're going to go three wide for the lead right here, going into turn one. Actually, Aaron Curtis is going to clear them both. What a chat. Can you believe this? Aaron Curtis clears them both. Can't remember the last time I've seen a, a leader do that. We have reached the point of no return, boys. If a caution comes out now, the race is going to be over the next time they cross the line. And Jack Hayes in the 89. Duggar Racing Ventures. Looking for a win here in Road to Scrubs. And it looks like they're wrecking big back there. They're wrecking big. This is the race for the win right here. And Jack Hayes in the number 89 is going to lead them to the flag. Is Gordon Sokolowski going to be able to get there? No, he is not. The number 89 of Jack Hayes is going to win here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. As they wreck coming to the line. And look at Edward Sound Hedward, man. He was running well this race, and now we can't even get onto the banking gate to see what is wrong with this man, bro. 
That is standard Wreckfest player behavior. Well, Chris Roberts gets sent to the pit. Something detrimental happened to this man. Hold on, let's go ahead and look at that wreck. Jack Hayes gets his first career Scrub Cinematic Universe victory. There, there was not rain at the right at the end. This is just where the race ends. Oh man, Chris Robert, what, what was that? Did he just push him up against the wall? Yeah, car high, my boy. What is you doing? And then these guys just absolutely obliterate the wall. Brian Lee Nelson. They avoid the wreck. Oh, I see what happens. They were trying to avoid the wreck by going down to the apron, but when they came up onto the banking, it was too much of a transition for the cars to handle. And then they just ate shit. So all of that just came from CMR. And CMR rightfully gets stuck in between the apron and the banking. Thank y'all for being ass. I owe it all to them. Shout out to Doggo, man. So that is going to be the first career win for Jack Hayes and the number 89. And Jack Hayes is throwing some demon emojis. Take a look at that, man. Jack Hayes is feeling himself right now. You love that, bro. You love to see that. So we're gonna go ahead and let these next couple laps run out. And as long as Jack Hayes stays on the track, they're gonna win this race. Murder someone. Hey, well, to be fair, Brian, you did uh, go down to the apron trying to avoid that wreck, man. So you know what, man? It's all right. It's all right. That's some true teammate activity, man. Cody Goforth and Jack Hayes work together to get to the front of this pack. And Jack Hayes gets the win, and Cody Goforth still gets a good result finishing ninth. Love to see that. Hopefully when, uh, when Cody comes back from basic... His driver will be in the scrubs. Also murdered my favorite YouTuber. Oh, Brian. Oh no, Brian. You wrecked your boy Eddie Sound Heady. Hey, by the way, guys. Exclamation point YT. This race will be up on YouTube tomorrow afternoon. Likely at uh, likely at noon or 12.30, we'll have uh, this race up. I'm trying to make sure we have a video up on YouTube every day. You know, it's not taking too long to edit those F1 videos. By the way, if you guys are into uh, Formula 1 content, uh, we've started a Formula 1 My Team series over on YouTube as well. We, uh, we record and stream everything here on Twitch, and then everything's up on YouTube the next day. So if you guys want to keep up with that... Uh, subscribe over there and hit the bell. We are on the road to 800. We're grinding for it, man. We're grinding for it. Yeah, YouTube Shorts are popping off because YouTube Shorts are actually, you know, uh, they get thrown into the algorithm a lot more. So I use the YouTube Shorts for growth. And the uh, the longer vid the longer videos are for you guys. So that way we can always look back on them. This most recent one is kind of doing dookie, though. It needs time to, to marinate. You gotta let them marinate. Absolutely, what if, like, whenever you have something funny happen in your videos, just hop on YouTube Shorts. Like, it's helping a little bit with my growth, but I know I need to be a lot more consistent, because I've only been consistent for, like, the past, you know, week. And, you know, I, I know YouTube kind of works out the views and the impressions kind of thing, like, up in your impressions after views, like, after a week or so. So, uh, we'll see how this goes. But to be fair, this next, this short wasn't my best. There's a certain formula that I want to do my shorts with. Like, I don't want to do just the text and then what happens. I actually want to uh, make proper shorts that I'm proud of, you know? But we'll be there, man. What's up, Shlomo? How we doing, bro? Look at this, bro. Jack Hayes got that dog in him. Yeah, that's the dog in me. Jack Hayes, man. He's got that dog in him. Coming to the line for the last time here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, you see the son of Omar holding the checkered flag. And that's going to be it 
for this race at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. But don't go anywhere, because we will be heading to the Bone Crusher figure eight right after this. Shout out Mr. Jack Hayes, man. Jack Hayes got that dog in him. That's some good stuff, man. What the? All right, let's go ahead. RTS race one, Coca-Cola. Very good work from our boy Jack Hayes, bro. Splendid work. Good shit, my boy. So let's go ahead and take a look at the official standings. We got J Jack Hayes, Gordon Sokolowski, Aaron Curtis, Shamwell, Balake, Wall. I finished sixth. Wincy Wolf, Cole Fralick, Go to Go Forth, Caleb Hoffman, rounding out the top ten. But it's Harley Payne, Demon Harddick, Michael Deitch, Ethan Twerkley, Taz Taylor, Becca Pierce, Caleb Straub, Roxas Severlin, Ryan Tovar, and David Davison rounding out the top twenty. 21st, Mika Suzuki, Ronald McDolan, Priya McShane finishes 23rd. Hudson Casco, the Nordy, Tangle Wolf, Rusty Walrus goes from 1st to 27th in that last restart. Hate to see that. Mateo Canyonero gets caught up in a couple of wrecks. Brian Kendall, Adrian Rojas, John Felber, Brian Pasternak, Brian Lee Nelson, Kyle Driscoll, Edward Sound Edward, Julio Caesar, and Chris Roberts rounds out your field here at Coca Cola Super Speedway. Where did Balake finish? Why am I tripping? Why can't I find this man? Balake finished fifth. Oh my god! Balake got that dog in him. I don't know how to make your shorts stand out. Well, the thing is, um. Uh, so here's the uh, victory screen for Jack Hayes. If you guys want to screen screenshot that really quick. Uh. 